there and welcome back to probably quite possibly intentionally one of my favorite types of ASMR videos and purely because it's exceptionally great for me because I get to combine ASMR but at the same time eat that for which I hold most dear and that's junk food, crap food and it is my um, Achilles heel um, my kryptonite <laughs> but it's one of those things where I eventually cave in and when I do it then I can't help myself and today we are presented with a very delicious Burger King I don't know why we've never gone for the Burger King before but Burger King I've had in the past is just very few and far in between and the burgers are actually exceptionally delicious hence the name of course but it's been oblivious to me because I'm on a chicken rampage and looking for crispy chicken triggers all the time and chicken this and chicken that is basically more I live on basically <laughs> so we've opted to cast aside the chicken minus the chicken nuggets of course and we've gone for burgers so our burgers today are a double whopper whammy whatever it's called with onion rings inside and bacon and barbecue sauce and that's boiling hot always a good sign then we have a double whopper or big whopper or something with lettuce and bacon inside in a different brioche bun we have 20 onion rings and then we have I think it's nine chicken nuggets because you know it's like a takeaway we have a sprite and ketchup homemade well home delivered and uh, water to um, wash down all this goodness so if we're looking for crunchy crispy triggers then hopefully this is going to be full of it no 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 why would you do this you know what i've always said in all of my eating videos when it comes to chips especially kfc chips come on those potato skins are the most disappointing i've always held burger king chips in high regard where's the sword why are they thicker I swear they used to be thinner like this. These taste like KFC chips. If you're gonna get a takeaway, you're obviously gonna opt in for a not so healthy food dining experience. So why not give us the original Burger King chips, which were the best. I was looking forward to that so much. And what we've got? Potato skins again. Why would they do that? They had the best french fries ever. They were thin, they were salty, they were crispy. And now they've opted for KFC flat as a pancake chips. Why would they do that? That's why I ordered two. So I thought I'd be addicted to them straight away. One of the amazing things you might have done this as well. Strawberry milkshake. Burger King strawberry milkshakes are so good. Let's fill ourselves up first on this. That tastes far much nicer than it should. And you'd get a nice milkshake from Burger King.
course it would be fresh because obviously it's in like the cardboard bag. But if you time your ASMR video about the right time, you can get away with it and um, get the crispiness. with the onion rings as well. That's so good. <laughs> That's just too good. I think probably if you follow me in my Instagram then you know uh, a plug for the description. Um, but you know uh, my recent events and during those days you tend to really not eat especially during those first uh, days. You just don't eat anything. You haven't got time for the whole process. So now is Fred's time to feast and enjoy. Probably why it tastes so good. <laughs> would be on the barbecue as well. 
and I'll keep that cycle going for the whole barbecue experience until the coals are gone. So, two burgers when I thought you're crazy for just getting this sort of massive feast, but in reality, I'm just kidding myself. So that's my justification process for this. Though my burgers don't tend to be triple whoppers, double whoppers or something like that. Even that water tastes good, I don't know why. Alright, let's give you a dunk. something epic so that would be Star Wars Lord of Rings, Pirates of Caribbean maybe Harry Potter, you know along those lines, a good blockbuster, adventurous film oh somehow I don't know why, but making an air small video out of it I get just as much satisfaction and enjoyment, which you shouldn't really of knowing that you're getting relaxed but at the same time hopefully satisfaction and I've done it so many times when I'm doing something if I have an eating ASMR video like I don't I'm not drawn to like the really really intense like eating ones it's like I always try to make ASMR videos, which I would personally watch for myself, but not really watch myself. And having someone eating. Or watch someone enjoy their food. I don't know why. It just... I enjoy it. Even the big feast. Um, the beard, Mr. Beard Guy or Feast Beard Guy. This one's not intense, but his food selection is impressive. <laughs>
use it with every single food bite. It tastes just as good as it did at the start. squashed anyway so I don't think that makes much of a difference I've eaten nearly all the chicken nuggets. I think there's about three mils in here. With everyone sharing some onion rings. Uh, 
Tuossa kyllä löytyi saatu. So we've got our barbecue sauce here, so I think now is as good as time as any to utilize this in an appropriate way. And that's to put it in our burger creation, so take that there. So the other one. I wish I knew what I ordered now. The other burger had a very satisfying grill taste to it, like it was fresh off the barbecue grill. This tastes like maybe a burger, which so you'd have at a party, but but the party has peaked and has reached its zenith, and there appears to be some stragglers. This burger would be one of them. It's good, but it's not, it's not amazing. I don't know what it was, that first burger, it was just so good. I mean, this is still good, but it's not, it doesn't have that satisfying element to it. It's more like a a standard burger which has been freddified I'm just gonna say that, that lettuce it's just kind of embarrassing really I mean what, what is it for? Is it really a health thing? Is it really there to make you feel like you're being healthy? Like it has any nutritional value? This wet, soggy lettuce, which would do absolutely nothing. It's not even lettuce, it's rocket, so even more tasteless, so get that out the burger. <laughs>
not sort of who do you think well, this would have tasted like without the Fred addition to the burger like I assume they cook it all on the same grill so why does it taste so different eat some of those chips. obvious now that we need to rectify our hierarchy for chips because what have you done Burger King? What have you done? Why? Every chip makes you want to chips again. Again, there's such a contrast, like you have the chicken, it's so good, and then you have those terrible chips with potato skins on them, it's just, it does not suffice, and it doesn't complement the chicken very well. KFC used to have really nice chips. I think consecutively, every single eating is my video I've done, there's a chip comparison in there, or a, a nudge. KFC's chips. Not that I ordered grudge or something. So this chip, for example, would be a perfect in the straw. Into milkshake. Delicious. Yeah. 
it's the bacon that gives it the flavour. And I don't really eat bacon in this taste. It's pretty good. If I have bacon, I could feel English or something. It has to be the bacon. I mean, it's that real sort of pinky pink with juice. like that with the fat then my gosh no thank you the sausages tend to always make up for it but I like all of my meat to be really well done well cooked crispy always I've never been into sort of rare raw beefs and red meat I like burgers is because it's well done. I would never, which some may surprise you, but I'd never eat just like beef by itself. Oh no, I love chicken way too much. <laughs> so the only time I have beef is through a takeaway eating badly a barbecue otherwise I'd never order it like a steak or something I don't know why but that was very um, underwhelming crispy onions, it was already about that big, like a solid big burger, and a brioche bun on top, with like the crispy bits hanging out the end, and the lettuce rocket, with the nice green in there, and the crispy bacon, like just browned off nicely, it looked so good, and I thought, God, that was the first one I put in the bag, this one, it was the biggest disappointment, and I'm so glad I got the triple, double, winger, wonger, binger, whatever that is. That was so good. I think sesame buns are always better as well. I think I said it last time in my other Asian video where I made the king, rude English king or knight or something but it's all with like what I would class as sort of middle ages food so greens and just meat on the bone and I had it set up and uh, yeah I'm pretty sure I did it screenshot on the previous video but every time I do one of these I just there's a scene in my head and it's from a movie somewhere and it's just some like high class person and they're eating food and a big feast and they're just eating and then I think someone comes up it could be a night style and it goes for the poor and then they just go and slap the food on there <laughs> It didn't threaten it. I don't think it was that. It was this completely different film. But there's something in my head. Maybe like one of those really old films, like Errol Flynn and Star. And there's that where they're at the big banquet, and I think an ASMR version of that. But I thought that would work. But sometimes when you edit this video, it doesn't sit right with you. Or creation, you think? That's not the one. And I'm very close with that with a lot of my videos which I create. And then end up changing the complete the idea completely and filming something else. So sometimes it doesn't make it. That was one of them. That brioche bun was just no good. I didn't want the 
eating videos to be too long. I know it's like a lot of YouTube shorts, but it's less than a minute. I just, and it's like really intense, but it's confined. My not elongated. So maybe I should try and keep this no more than 40 minutes. Here. I mean, what have we got here? Some not so very appetizing scraps for the poor. Medieval. Not um not in real life. And um, I'm a strong advocate of not wasting food as well. I just never catch for it, throwing anything away. Even when I know something's gone out of date. I can't throw it away for some reason. I just got a problem uh, with that. <laughs> feel bad. It's just this weird thing where I think of something, so if a chicken went out on a date, you somehow missed it. Went out on a date. I have that thing in my head, like, I am always kind of borderline vegetarian for an ethical reason, because I don't like, like the thought of it, just, you know, but... I'm a meat eater, so I've got a terrible dilemma. So when I'm in the fridge, like I'm always grateful for, I, when it comes to meat, so when it comes to throwing it out if I need to, then I have a terrible guilt trip that I give myself. So almost um, to say thanks to the animal, yeah. Right, I think so we don't make this too long. This I'll probably put in the bag and probably within an hour before that burger goes down. Fred's gonna be hungry again, so I've got good snacks for a bit later on as well. So I hope there was some sort of crunchy something in here for you. And uh, there was something good and triggery for you. In hindsight, I've envisioned a very crunchy burger came going. Oh my goodness, why have I not had this before? Just going completely berserker of the chips and thinking, they're literally the best. And then end up doing another one. But I think I just ended up getting a bit of everything, so I wanted to see what it was like. So I've got the onion rings, the burgers, uh, chicken nuggets, which, that chicken nuggets, not a good McDonald's ones. Um, and chips, chips were major. Let down, that burger was absolutely insanely good like that was a nine and a, a nine out of ten that burger not so great uh, and there was a, a very limited amount of crunch in there for my liking and something that i'd like with the asmr uh, eating videos is a little bit of crunch in there so we'll have to hunt for uh, something else next time no no So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, eating ASMR. I hope you found it relaxing and if you're asleep right now, enjoy your sleep and take care of yourself. Cheerio.